Y'all, it's bright and early here in Singapore. My name is Max and my kind of beats, and today we're gonna to be all about breakfast, 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 breakfast. Now, I'm telling you, you gotta love the breakfast scene here in Singapore because really your options are endless. You know, from kaya toast and kopi and eggs, to nasi lemak, to roti prata, to maybe some noodles, bakute. There are just so many options out there, so I really cannot wait to explore this breakfast scene. You're gonna come along with me. Let's get it started. All right, gonna start this morning off in a Moy food center. We're actually here right now. We're just gonna walk on up in here. All right, y'all, so I left because the place was actually closed I wanted to go to for some reason. Uh, Should have been open. Well, anyways, we wanna kind of change gears. I got another Kaya Toast place we're gonna go to, but for right now, what's really close is a Bok Chor Mee place, so I'll meet y'all there. All right, on the second floor of the Hong Lim complex, like I said, going for bok chor mee, starting the day off with some noodles. All right, so how you do it here is there's a couple ways to order things. You can get it wet or dry, and then thick or thin noodle, and then pick your size. I went with the thin noodle dry, and then the $6 bowl. They have a six, eight, and 10. Everything fresh, nothing done in advance here, and that broth just looks flavor packed. Now, I'm not saying this bowl is filled up, but my gosh, this bowl they give you is actually ginormous. It's humongous, and it's filled with so many porky goodies. Look at this, got the minced pork meat, got the liver, got the actual pork ball, got the little wonton, which I'm sure is stuffed with pork, and they got a little fish, a little skin, a little cracker here. And look at the side soup, this is gorgeous. It almost looks like a miso soup, the way it's just got the infused pork little drippings and bits in there. All right, and let's see what's under the noodles here. Look at that sauce that he tossed and coated that in. I mean, you can smell the black vinegar, you see the pork, you see the oil, you see the chili flake. Oh yeah, I'm gonna mix these noodles in and start off the big old slurp of noodles. Having lived in Hong Kong, I found these noodles almost kind of strange. I've gotten so used to Hong Kong's almost al dente, springy, chewy. These are cooked all the way through. Well, not mushy at all, but I mean, they are just nice and soft and doughy. Oh, and that sauce he's coating it in is delicious. I mean, it's porky, got a little kick of chili at the end, and then they're adding black vinegar. You get that sour black vinegar kick. I wish it had just a little bit more though. got a kick from that fresh chili. Those little chilies are hot here. Okay, okay, I like it. I gotta try out this broth though. Oh my gosh. That is just a phenomenal, slow cooked, meaty pork flavor. I still like though, it's not too oily. That's what I love about it. It's flavor, and they added a little white pepper in there for as well to get a little spiciness. Oh, this side little broth is a winner. No wonder this bowl of noodles is so good when you're cooking it in this delicious broth. Oh, that one surprised me. It was a tinier pork meatball, so I thought it was gonna be really dense and springy, but it's actually nice and soft. It has enough fat and other ingredients in it to where it almost kind of just melts in your mouth and just enough pork to get that porkiness. Go for some of my favorite pieces now, the liver. Honestly, I would ask for extra liver. It's so creamy, so clean, and then just coated in that sauce. Last thing I got here is the wonton. Uh-oh, looks like it broke open. Oh well, we're just gonna eat it anyways. Oh, that filling is out of bounds. I mean, that is just salty, sweet, fatty pork goodness on the inside. The wonton wrapper kind of threw me off though because it's it's a little thicker than a wonton wrapper that I'm used to. It actually seemed a little bit closer to a dumpling. I'd say it's a nice little hybrid. pork infused bowl of noodles with just a touch of seafood salty sweetness. Alright, 
is finally Kaya Toast time with some kopi and egg. Now we're at Wai Wai Cafe Dien. And as you can tell by the name, it's a little bit of a Chinese influence, I'm guessing, because this isn't gonna be your typical Singaporean toast. This place is actually baking their bread in-house and they're gonna give you thick slabs of it and it's supposed to ladle on the Kaya spread as well. That just sounded like a win-win to me, so that's how I picked this spot. So they have one line that will be out of the store and it looks like it's gonna be super long, but what it really is is another line for food. You wanna get make sure you're getting the other line if you're just getting the coffee, toast, and egg. Okay, got some coffee in me, so now we can say the day is getting started. Oh, and they were not kidding. Look how thick this bread is. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's peel it and look at it. Ooh, now that kaya looks delicious, but y'all, that is depressing. That is very, very depressing. I want a big old slab of butter. Y'all know I'm from the South. I need my butter, but hopefully this toast baked in house will make up for it. And I got the boiled eggs as well. Just gonna let them sit for just a second before I crack them open. I mean, besides the thick bread here, all in all, I mean, this is just a Singaporean style. So excited. Oh, this baked in-house bread is absolutely lovely. It's so soft. I mean, it's almost soft like a brioche, but it's not as dense and eggy and buttery. The kaya toast got a hint of coconut to it. It's nice, it's thick, it's creamy. All I'm missing is some butter. If I had some butter on this, I tell y'all what, ooh wee. Mm. Man, that is not an original kaya toast. I mean, that is unique in itself. It's so soft barely any crunch. I mean, they are barely toasting that on the outside, but that kaya jam is so nice. It's just really, like I said, missing some butter, but maybe a little bit butter biased. Let's see how I did, make sure I got my ratios right. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what this is gonna need, another order of that bread. That bread soaks in all of those eggs beautifully. And then you just take a deep breath, take a little sip of coffee. Doesn't get much better than this. This is the Singaporean way. All right, so we're here finally for Quay Chap. Now this is a dish that I'm so excited to try, so I'm pumped up right now. What it is, is like a soy sauce based broth. You'll get thin little rice sheets, and then you kind of get to pick your toppings. Now there's a bunch of different things you can pick, but I'll give you a little hint. I bet it's gonna be hopefully good. Get it, hopeful, hopefully good. Now, stop talking, okay. I'm super excited for this. So what I picked is I got the tofu that had been there just soaking and soaking in that sweet soy sauce flavor. Got the egg, the pork intestine, and then the pork belly. Now I've heard this quick chap is one of the more expensive, but I've also heard it's worth the money. So you know, sometimes you gotta pay to play. Yes, please. That is just nice, salty, and rich with flavor. But we gotta go for the main show now, and I'm not even gonna wait. I'm going straight for the pork intestines because I've heard they are just fantastic here. Y'all, let's scoop up some sauce. Oh, look at that sauce. Look how thick that is. I'm sure it's nice and sweet, too. Oh, that is just a model pork intestine. The texture on point, it is unbelievably clean. And then the flavor, it's just coming straight from that sauce. Pork belly, heavy on the fattiness, not too rich in pork actual flavor, so you really let the sauce kind of take over. 
go for another one of my favorites, the tofu here. Just go ahead and a little submerge it in the sauce though. That skin has done a fabulous job soaking in that broth. The actual inside of the tofu, I wish it was a little bit more like a sponge tofu or a tofu puff so it could slurp in more of that broth flavor, but it's really nice, really hearty, stands up on its own. Mm. Ooh, those are super slurpable. You get those coating that sauce, and they were trying to slide down without even me trying to swallow yet. Oh man, almost choked. Oh yeah, getting these noodles, getting some of that pork intestine, and cilantro, and that makes it worthwhile. That is what we pay the big bucks for y'all. That is the money, bye. I still got good news though. We still got one more spot for something special. I'll meet y'all there. All right, we're over here. We're going for bakute. Now, I've had the Malay version where it's nice and herbal, but I'm excited because the Singaporean version is actually supposed to be known for more being spicy. That's how I picked this spot, too. It's supposed to be one of the spiciest here in Singapore. So, I'm going to walk up to it right now. Head inside. <laughs> Wow, this is really such a nice area. It looked packed, I thought I was gonna have to wait, but I guess that's the perks of dining one person and sometimes you can just slide in, they're nice and easy. Okay, so what I did is I got their actual pork loin bakute, which was their most recommended and of course their most expensive. But they also recommended you get the pig trotters or the pig's intestines. Well, I've already had pig's intestines today, so I was like, oh yeah, pig's trotter. But then down below even further, they have a pig's trotter's rice and it comes with a little veg and egg. So that felt perfect to me, I got that. Got the yu towel a must for me, and then just some braised peanuts because I'm a sucker for them. I don't know why, every time I see peanut on the menu, I feel like I have to order it. I know this place is famous for the bakute, but I gotta try this pork trotter and rice. This looks phenomenal. Oh, that pork trotter, it's got that nice gelatinous, just slow cooked creaminess. It's got a nice little meaty flavor to it. It's got this soaked in sauce flavor. That's got everything going on there. It's kind of soaked into the rice. Look at the egg here. I mean, that is just half soft, half hard boiled. Get some of that with this next bite. Makes it even better. Love how they cook it like half soft bowl, half hard bowl, because when you mix it in, it almost acts like this agent that just holds everything together and makes it even creamier and then decadent. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. The more I get that mixed in, the more I get that egg in there, the more and more I really like that dish. But it's time to try the baku te, what we came for, and oh, I love the sight of that. When I mean, you get a big old roasted garlic clove in there, that's a good sign for me. Y'all, I gotta try it in its purity first. You know, pay the respects, see how it is. That is nice. I see what they mean about being spicy. At the end, you get like this spiciness. I got like a lot of white pepper. It's really simple, just a few ingredients, but it also tastes really, really special. Oh my goodness. Utah, in my world, falls under the same rule as an egg. When you add it, it just makes the dish even better. You know, they have the dark, thick soy sauce here. They got the chili, things you can add to this, but it is really so nice by itself. It's time to go in for the main show, that pork loin. Come on. 
I didn't even bite into it. I just barely touched it my lips, and next thing I know, it's falling apart off the bone. I mean, look how clean that just came off this bone. Y'all, this is just high quality pork, high quality ingredients, cooked low and slow, nothing fancy, just simple and simply delicious. Mm. Sensational, absolutely sensational. I just found out the food gods are with me today. Apparently you get a free refill of the Baku Te. I need more Utah. I need more things to dunk. I'm gonna slurp this up. Nothing like that coming out fresh and hot. Y'all, I'm not gonna let that cool down again. I'm about to dig in, enjoy this, I'll catch you outside. I have no clue how pepper, water, garlic, and pork can be that good. I guess when you're just using quality ingredients, and like I said, letting them marry for a long time, they become a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now y'all, that's gonna do it for the breakfast tour. There's still so many things you can eat here in Singapore. I mean, we probably ventured maybe a fourth of them, but there's nasi lamak, roti prata, we could have had so many things and noodles. But I will say, if you like things like that, make sure to check out my next video. Y'all, it's been Max and My Kind of Beats. I'll catch you at the next one.